Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today I'm going to do a video that was inspired by Kelly Gooch. I will link her video down below. She posted it recently where she did an updated version of if she could only keep one of each product from her collection. And I thought, have I done that on my channel yet? And I looked back and last summer I did this type of video with products I've gotten from subscription boxes and products that are drugstore only. So I will link those up in the cards during this video. But I thought I'm just doing it for my entire collection. Obviously I'm trying to focus a lot on my collection this year since we started the inventory, which is a lot. So I decided to put myself in the mindset of if I really could only keep one of everything, what would I keep? I'm not, I don't care if it's drugstore, I don't care if it's high end, I don't even care if it's discontinued. Like what is the best of the best in my collection? And I feel like I narrowed it down to some pretty good options. Some of these are older, some of these are newer. And if that is something you guys are interested in seeing, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, let's start with complexion products. So primer. I was thinking of doing a moisturizing primer, but then I thought half the time I'm just using my moisturizer in the morning before work and I'm not going in with another moisturizer on top of it. So what is something that I really like if I'm not necessarily looking for just my moisturizer? I also am very sorry if my hair distracts you throughout this video, but that's just the kind of hair day we're having. So I thought I like something like a little bit glowy and illuminating and I decided to go with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I have gone through a full size of the, this. I have multiple in my backups. It's definitely one of my all time favorite primers. And I have mentioned this in the past. I love this, but I don't think it's a product you should pay full price for it because it's often in Becca's like best selling kits. It goes on sale. It's not something I would recommend paying full price for, but it just is so lovely. It is lovely. I am wearing it today. I am not wearing everything in this video today, but if it is something I am wearing, I will give it a holler and you will know. But I just very much enjoy this product and I would keep it. Foundation. So I'm not wearing this foundation today because I have a slight self tan on. I mean, like, look at how good I did it matching my hands with tan. It's a skill I have. I couldn't wear this foundation today because the my self tan shade, I used it up yesterday. I finished a foundation that shows how much I like it. I actually already bought a backup. So if you've seen my recent video where I did a makeup showdown, I talked about it, that I already bought the backup, but I decided that today I would just show my non self tan version and that is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This has changed my life. I really never liked non glowy foundations until I met this one. Something about this foundation is unlike any non luminous foundation. It is just natural, long wearing. It's everything I love about Pro Glow, which is long wearing and glowy, but this is the long wearing and just natural. I never thought I would have loved something more than I love L'Oreal Pro Glow, but this has done that. I'm even extremely distracted by my hair in this video, so that's, that's fun. We're gonna do something about that really quick. Okay, that's so much better. Concealer. I am wearing this concealer today. I've been using it for the last two weeks for the first time ever, and I have never found a concealer before this. This didn't crease in my under eyes. But holy moly, this Revlon Candid Concealer does not crease on me. I just didn't think that was a thing, honestly. Like, I just thought, like, you're an old lady-ish, you're oldish, things are gonna go in your creases. This one doesn't. I don't understand, but uh, it's just this extremely creamy consistency and I can't stop wearing it, so I would definitely choose this one. Now, for setting powder, I thought of doing like a loose and a pressed, but if we're being real, and we are on this channel, and you probably already know what setting powder I'm picking, but it's the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Powder. This is the only pressed powder I've ever been able to use to set under my eyes. It is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, today, I didn't even use a setting spray on my face. Like, this is just this powder setting my makeup, and it just looks beautiful. Let's be real. It looks really good. And I don't know, I still don't understand what Physician's Formula is doing with this, but I did buy a backup at my local Marshalls. Did I consider buying a third? Yes. Did I exhibit self-control? Yes. Let's do eyes for fun. Let's do eyeshadow. So if I was only going to pick one eyeshadow palette, I really considered Morphe Jack Nail because it is large and in charge and there are a lot of options, but if you have not been keeping up with everything going on with that palette, I envy you, I suppose. Uh, I'll link Jen Loves Reviews video down below if you aren't familiar. I don't feel like going through it. So I decided to go, what's been my go-to palette for a long time now that gets me through any situation? And honestly, it's Too Faced Chocolate Gold. 
I have worn this to weddings. I've worn this when we went to Hamilton in Washington, D.C. Just, it's kind of, it's so reflective. That's very inconvenient. There we go, right there. It's just been one of those palettes that has been able to get me through my more neutral times, those random times where I wear a color on my eyes, very, uh, very infrequent, but this, this is just, this is where it's at for me. So I decided this would be the eyeshadow palette I would keep. And then I thought in this selfish environment that I'm creating for myself, I'm gonna let myself keep one single eyeshadow and one glitter because I get to make the rules. For a single eyeshadow, I believe this is a discontinued shade and I actually think this ColourPop Super Shock was discontinued and they brought it back for a limited time at one point. And this is the shade Koosh. This is beautiful. Do a swatch through here, in case you have never seen this shade before, but like, look how pretty it is. It just looks like wet and pretty and dewy and pretty and wet. I decided to do that. Then, for a glitter, I thought I'm just gonna keep my all-time fave, and that is Stila's Kitten Karma. Somehow this one is really still kicking, still juicy. Can't say that for all my Stila products, but I would definitely keep this. Let's talk about brows. I'm wearing both of these brow products today. And I decided that I would keep the Benefit for Sizing My Brow and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I know these are both on the more expensive end when it comes to brows, but honestly, brows are just something that I can't go out of the house without. Like, I can go out without my foundation, without anything, but like, since college, like, brows have been the thing that I need to do. I need to have brows. They just, they don't look right without being done, so I'll treat them well if I'm only keeping one of each. Okay, for eyeliner, I was only going to do a pencil eyeliner and then I thought, you know what? I'm doing a pencil and a liquid liner because again, I make up the rules. So for a pencil eyeliner, it is the eyeliner I'm wearing today and this is Urban Decay Perversion. It's just a black matte eyeliner. Again, I'm wearing it today. It's good, long lasting, matte, dark, all the things you really want out of a black eyeliner. It covers that. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you would know I don't wear a liquid liner ever. There was a time where I rocked a, a wing every day and I've stepped back from that life. However, I recently tried the Physician's Formula Eye Booster, the waterproof one, and it doesn't transfer up onto my hooded eyelids. So don't be surprised if you see me rocking the, the wings more often now that I've discovered this because it doesn't do me dirty like the other aligners. So I'm digging this a lot. Okay, now I'm going to do powder face products. So, I am wearing this bronzer today. This bronzer from The Balm, it is, I've decided this is definitely the best the best bronzer I own. It, it just works. It works when I'm not self-tanned, it works when I am self-tanned. I don't have a lot of bronzers that do that, but it's not only that, it doesn't make me look orangey or weird. It's like this nice bronzed look and I really appreciate it and I, chose it. Now for blush and highlighter. I didn't pick singles. I picked a duo for blushes and a highlighting palette, so sue me. Okay, so for blushes, I went with the Jouer Blush Duo because first of all, the quality, so good. Second of all, it has two very, very different shades. So I thought that is kind of unique about this little duo is that we do have the darker and more like neutral color, but we also have like this pretty cool tone, pinky flush. So not only is the quality of these great, but I thought these would be two really good shades to keep around. Now I want to know if you guys know what highlighter palette I chose. Because I feel like you probably do if you know me. It's the Glam Glow Glow Powder. I mixed these two shades together and it just, it's not what I'm wearing today. There are some new products on my face that I'll be coming in a video I believe next week. But these two powders mixed together literally make it look like you're glowing from within and not glowing from on top of your makeup and it's just I love it and I don't like that glam glow is not making it so it's concerning to me okay mascara I'm wearing today is the thrive liquid lash extensions I used to think this was a gimmick I used to see ads for this on Instagram all the time and I was like uh, of course it makes your lashes look like that like it really does it's so good and it's so long lasting and as somebody who works in a world I find that it lasts all day, and that's a big deal for me. I cannot say that about all mascaras, but this one lasts all day and it does not flake because it is a tubing mascara, and 
I don't know if I can ever go without this again. Not to be dramatic. Setting spray, I feel like I had to pick it. I went Urban Decay All Nighter. I've been using this since before I even watched beauty YouTube. That's saying something. I was using it for that long. When it was in a little white bottle with purple letters, I've been using it that long. For lips, I let myself pick one from every category. So I'm wearing two of the products today. I'm wearing a lip liner. And for a lip liner, I went with the Milani Nude Lip Liner. I love this lip liner. It has been sharpened quite a bit. It's definitely one of my favorite lip liners I own. And I decided to pick the Ofra Gloss in the shade Apricot Dream. I really like this formula. It's super comfortable. It's easy to apply. Kind of smells. I can't identify the smell. It smells like something kind of sweet and fruity, but this is what I'm wearing right now. I picked this lipstick. This is one of my most worn lipsticks I own. This is the Alme Lip Vibes in the shade Go Wild. Again, another fantastic shade, a fantastic formula. As you notice, we have a lot of nude going on and that is not changing with the liquid lipstick. And I went with the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in the shade All Natural Nude. We love our nudes here. But yeah, those were the products that I would pick if I could only pick, keep one of everything from my collection. Let me know in the comments what you guys would pick. Would you pick any of these or any of these your faves? I feel like I have a lot of energy right now. I don't know why. I think it's because I started TikToking and I can't, and I have like all this TikTok energy in me. I am too old to be TikToking, but like a lot of old people are on TikTok. So like, I don't know what's right and what's wrong anymore. So if you're on TikTok, follow me. Things by the Burke. I just, I'm not very original. I just do like what the trending people are doing, like the kids dancing and stuff. Like. My dad paid for 14 years of dance lessons. I'm glad they're finally paying off. So that's all I can say about that. Let me know in the comments, whatever you want me to know. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.